Welcome to Speeds Creative. Today we're, we're joined with the amazingly talented Rogoro. Hi. Yeah. Um, I, I, we just want to thank you for coming here and just for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I just thank want you. to give a brief um, introduction of who Rogoro is. Um, okay. I like how to say your name as well. I learned okay. that today. Really? I learned that today. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, my name is Rogoro. So it's, it's, it's spelled Ruguru, but it's pronounced Rogoro. And I'm a 21-year-old musician from Kenya. I love to sing, love to make music. Yeah, that's Rogoro in a nutshell, in a very, very summarized nutshell. Yeah. Um, today, I, I watched your, your interview in Tenu oh. you mentioned that, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you mentioned that you were singing from the time you were four. Mm -hmm. And then you started singing professionally at 17. I just want you to talk through that experience and how you fell in love with music and your influences it even came from your parents. Mm. Like, you know, because my brother when I ask him he tells me his influence came from my dad. Mm. So I just want you to also tell us about your influence and how mm. you fell in love with music. Mm. Mm. Okay, I can start with my influence. My influence is my my influence has been Beyonce because of her work ethic, her voice, the way she she goes after what she wants and she achieves it. She's my biggest influence and my parents as well because they inspire me so much and they support me so much. And now with my journey and everything, I started singing when I was really young. And I had just been singing like in Christmas concerts, in plays, those types of things in school. You know the way you just sing in school. And then after school now, I started doing music like semi-professionally. I started like dipping my toes in until I fully immersed myself in it. All right, this is where I am right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also understood that there was a time when you were doing music and then you were like, you, you gave up and you are like, no, I'm not going to do music for now. I yeah. To get a yeah. So, mm. I just wanted to also talk about that experience of how you came about. Mm. In a time where, because Kenya, it's a monkey in the movie. Yeah. It takes time. I've it seen does. It, I've seen it, I've seen it with people, it takes time. For mm -hmm. It does, it really does. Move. And you, your money from that. I mm. feel like we we'll get to a point where you can you get there. Mm. I just want you to talk about that experience and how you just came back to music and you decided, no, mm. I'm gonna chill with a degree where you can even talk about if you want to ask you what you're doing now. Yeah. As well. um, so what happened was I had started school and I, fo I found it very hard juggling school and music because I had just started, school was taking up a lot of my time. And because I was in that environment, I started thinking, you know, maybe I should. Maybe I should just stop doing music, finish my degree and get a, like, a job. <laughs> a job in quotes, because music is still a job. But at the time, I thought, okay, I need to get a job. Exactly. So I stopped doing music, did school full time. And then until like around 2020, when, um, when the pandemic hit, when we were in quarantine, that's when I had a lot of time. I had a lot of time to reflect and a lot of time to just think about like how much I want to do music and think about the things I can make and the things I can do with my talent. And I ended up now creating music during the pandemic and going back to it. Yeah. How, how, was, how was the experience of just making music again, getting back to that energy? Amazing, amazing. I had taken a break. Yeah, I had taken a really long break, and it was so amazing. Like I would constantly because I had a few producers that I would uh, make music with at the time. There was this producer called Bob, and another one called Cole. I would constantly send them like melodies, like "Can you make this?" And then the next day, I change the melody. "Can you make this?" Can you, can you transform this? I would bother them because I was so full of energy and I was so ready to just create. But I also <laughs> wanted to ask you about how, like, now you, you're in a record label, mm. I've seen that, and how that experience was mm. during the, the record, record label, label. Taurus. <laughs> Taurus music. Because I, I, I was saying it wrong. <laughs> But just Taurus, like the star sign. Or Taurus. Yeah, Taurus. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not good with yeah. star signs. Please, okay. I hope someone doesn't cancel me. Take it easy, take it yeah, easy on you. Mm. But how is that experience of being now in a record label? Because mm. the, the, the artists are going now independently and they're mm -hmm. realizing that they want to go independently. But I want 
to understand that road of not mm. being a record label okay. and how it is in that industry. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's different definitely than being independent because when the label approached me, I, was make, I had started making music. I had a whole plan, by the way, of what I'm going to release and when, how many songs I'm going to make, all of that stuff. But then at the same time, I was also struggling a lot because I had all of these big dreams. I had all of these things that I wanted to accomplish and I couldn't because I didn't have the facilities, I didn't have the resources. So this label now, Taurus Music, thank you. They came and they provided me with the resources. They provided me with the connections that they had, which was really amazing, honestly. So I had the talent, but I didn't have the resources. I didn't have, I'm not business savvy. So the music business, not even creating music, but the music business itself was so scary to me. And I'm so happy because now Taurus came and they told me, you know what, let's, 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 um, let's have an agreement. You make music, we handle everything else for you. Just make music, do your talent, do what you want to do. We'll handle everything else. Yeah. Mm. And then now with, with independent artists, this is, why I like, this is why I look up to independent artists because it's so much that you have to do, by the way, it's so much. You have to handle a lot of things and your plate is full constantly. I admire them so much because they're able to make quality music, they're able to get that reach, they're able to make music videos, they're able to do interviews, all of that stuff that me personally, when I was independent, I found so hard to do. Yeah. And how did they find, like the story, you know, how, how they found you mm -hmm. and how they found your music? Yeah. Because I've seen you have a couple of singles, you haven't yet released an album mm -hmm. and you haven't yet released your first project. Yeah. But yeah. I'm hoping, I'm waiting for I was actually excited, I've listened to mm -hmm. a couple of songs. I've listened yeah. to Crazy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And it also showed me your, your, your art in the sense that mm -hmm. you believe in yourself. Yeah. And I feel you, what you're doing. Is also encouraging little girls who are there, what, 10 and Oh my gosh, music. wow, I've never heard that. That's you're, you're, so you're nice. You're the new rise of this. Mm. this is, you need to understand our generation is going to change a lot of things. Yeah, that's true, that's true. That. Yeah. So I just want you to, sorry, I've talked too so much, but no, I, just it's, it's, say, it's good. Mm -hmm. I just want you to say how that experience has been, or mm. like as a little girl, how you believe in this and then just going through with it. Mm. Mm. And just to encourage these people who don't even have that feeling. Okay. Me before I did this, I didn't have the feeling. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Encourage people. Okay, you had talked about even like as a little girl, like how it feels like knowing that I'm at this point right now. It feels amazing, honestly, because there's some small victories that I've seen, that I've reached, that touch my heart, like being on TV for the first time or being on radio, the newspaper, or having people respond to my songs the way that they do, reaching certain like uh, marks on YouTube on my videos they really like hit me because it's like I'm actually doing this like I'm actually progressing like I'm moving forward I'm not regressing I'm actually reaching that target that I had set for myself all of those years ago the dream that I had for myself and what I would want to tell that little girl <laughs> who would want to do music is honestly life is so unexpected and it's so short and it's beautiful if you want to do what you want to do just pursue it if you want to sing sing your heart out because people are going to love it honestly you're always going to find a group of people that will love what you make and that will encourage you and that will lift you up higher so just just do it just do it just do it just do it <laughs> i just want to um and i also want to talk about the, the new music that you've made in 2020 not working with Chief Gang mm. and how that experience was with working with mm. you know, artists and meeting new artists as well. Yeah, yeah. How was that experience also working with people artistically? Oh, it's a great experience. Because I was with Chief Gang, like, I was with Chief Gang <laughs> when I was 16. We were us three and we would make music together until I branched off and they started making music as well. So it's been really nice working with them because they're so so talented and working with other artists as well has been very interesting because you like they come and they, they give you like different perspectives and different flows or different vibes which is so cool how is it also because I, I listen to crazy mm. and i just want to know also why you what keeps you inspired and also when writing music mm. what type of mindset okay like because someone will listen to crazy and they'll think yeah you're going through a heartbreak she's going through some going stuff through some, <laughs> she's not okay <laughs> 
But like, yeah. why is your mind that even when writing new um, music and get inspired? Really? Okay, with Crazy, um, I wrote it with Meryl Page. And we had been writing like for a, a week. Every day we would write a new song. Every day we would write a new song. So every day we would get into a different headspace. So when we wrote Crazy now, I think Crazy was actually the first song that we wrote together, if I'm not wrong. Um, we just decided, you know what? What can we write about that that will make people feel something? We decided to put ourselves in the scenario of a woman scorned. Now a woman that's, that knows that her, her man is cheating on her. But he can't seem to admit it. He makes her feel like she's crazy. So the song just goes through like everything that you go through in your mind, all the thoughts that run through your mind when you suspect that your partner is seeing somebody else. Yeah. Uh, I also want to talk about no love. I listen to no love, mm. and you had like a bit like the way you were. I, I can't, I can't do it. I don't see. Mm. <laughs> but like how I noticed that like it's like you could get your toes into rapping and try something different. Yeah, you know, something different mm -hmm. in that type of sense. And even with blessings, mm -hmm. it's like, uh, what is this? Yeah, it's, then, it's all over the place. Yeah. So can you say like? <laughs> I know you don't know for now like what exactly what type of artist you want to be mm. but uh, I, I love the way you're experimenting I just want yeah. to talk about the way you're experimenting with all this it's amazing things. it's amazing honestly because right now if i like something i will sing on it i won't like something and be like you know what no no no, no. i don't sing that type of music yeah. why music is music art is art if i want to do something why can't i just do it so it's not even like about me sticking to one genre it's about what i want to make and what I want to put out, be it blessings or no love or crazy. And you should hear the rest of my songs on my project. They're all just different, but they're amazing. And I love them, exactly. Mm -hmm. When's your, okay, I, I, <laughs> I don't shout out now. <laughs> when can we expect a uh, Rogoro album? I hope I'm saying ah, Yeah, name, like, Rogoro, it's self-titled. It's so amazing, it's self-titled. Mm. Yeah, Rogoro is going to come out by the end of the year. By the end of the year? Yeah, I remember I had told um, an interviewer in October that it's going, no, in September, that it's going to come out at the end of the month. But anyway, end of the year, end of the inshallah. year. Inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. And I can't wait for you guys to hear it, honestly. Mm. It's a work of art, but I'm just bragging. Yeah, you're just bragging. Yeah, I'm just bragging. Yeah. <laughs> but what can we expect from what type of sound? What what do you feel like Rogoro wants to like when, when, when I tell someone you go listen to our music, this is mm. what you can expect from it. Mm. I also know you tell me you love Beyonce and mm -hmm. you love R and B and soul. Mm -hmm. and you love R&B and soul. Mm -hmm. you love I love Afro music as well. Afro I'm a piano, well. Afro beats. Mm. And like what what type of message do we, you want people to get from mm -hmm. you? Okay, as a whole, yeah. I want my music to just give a good message. Even if it's putting you in those feelings for, am I crazy? You know, the way crazy makes you, it can trigger you <laughs> some ways, make you self-reflect. Either way, I just want it to give you a good message. Yeah, yeah. I just want it to, like, just appeal to you. Like, I want it to speak to you. And just, like, I want you to just feel it now and dance or cry or laugh as long as it speaks to you and it gives you a good message yeah anyway oh, I, I don't take too much of your time mm -hmm. i just want to say thank you for, for joining speech thank creatives you. in our interview we thank love you. that you thank have you. me i want us to even talk more mm -hmm. tell me about your new music you promote it we even come here we have a yeah a listening party or something yes but i'm really mm -hmm. excited for you i'm happy for you thank you Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I just want you to keep on chasing your dreams. Thank you. Know. Thank you. Even like I was, I always tell these artists, uh -huh. you actually inspire me. Uh -huh. I was like, and I, they normally look at me like, you what, like what do you say? Thank you. But actually, mm -hmm. thank you so I much. Yeah, that means a lot. I will definitely. I'm here for the long run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want you to, before we end, up, uh, we're gonna put her links, the, like the link for music below the description. Is it? In the description below, <laughs> we're gonna put some music. Please, please go check it out. We yeah. love having you here. Thank you. Thank you. And I want you to give yourself a shout out as well. Say fun. Oh, I give. Say I give. Anything. I give something. Okay, okay, okay. Guys, stream crazy, and I love you guys so much. And I hope that you have a great morning or afternoon or evening whenever you're listening to this. I hope that you're having a great time. Yeah.
way, that way, which way?